sass, 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 sassafras. I think the word sassafras can scare people sometimes. It's a tree. If you like root beer, you'll definitely like sassafras. We're the only manufacturer in the country or the world that makes a true sassafras tea. My grandfather started in 1962. I was born in 1963, so I have drank Pappy Sassafras tea my whole life. It was just a very small operation. Uh, my wife and I, Sandy, purchased it from her father in 89. I enjoy working with my dad. I've worked with him here for over 15 years now. Sassafras is brewed from the select root bark. You normally harvest sassafras root bark when the leaves are not on the tree. And we ask it to be dug in the spring or in the fall. That allows the sap to migrate down towards the root system. And that's the cambium layer that brings the best flavors for it. The way we brew our pappy sassafras tea, we bring the sassafras root bark in in the morning. We actually steep the tea from about 170 degrees to about 200 degrees. The steeping process to make the tea is about four to five hours. Once we brew the tea, we have to then filter it and move it over to a jacketed cooling tank where we actually add a filter aid to it so that we can filter the tea and remove the small bits of pieces of bark from the tea. We bottle 374 six packs per day that's about uh, 3,000 bottles run down the production line in about an hour and 15 to 20 minutes. As a family business, it's not only family, but your employees are family as well. We treat them just like family. They work very, very hard for us. We couldn't do it without our employees. So it does make it very easy for us to run our production line uh, when everybody knows everybody else's job. And there I'm an owner, but uh, I'll be loading out trucks or I grab the mop and mop the floor, whatever, whatever it takes in a small family business, that's what you do. When you buy our teas, uh, our pappy sassafras, green raspberry and peach teas are all concentrates. Each 12 ounce bottle will make you a two quart pitcher of iced tea or 12 cups of hot tea. So there are a lot of neat things that you can do with sassafras besides just drink it as a, as a hot or a cold beverage. We have 10 recipes for it. You know, sassafras jelly, root beer cakes, sassafras pie, candies, hard rock candies. If you pour it right on vanilla ice cream, you have an original root beer float. We put out about 50,000 cases a year. We've got 30 to 40 distributors out there. When people find our sassafras tea, because it is the only sassafras tea literally left in the world, the problem is, is they buy every bottle off the shelf. And then we have a website, so we ship uh, orders over the web. It's a lot of fun. I get phone calls every day, four or five of them, California, you know, uh, all over the country, from Maine to whatever, and these people, they have to have the tea. We've always asked, what is success? And is success having around the clock employees and going around and churning out as much as you can? Or is success being able to put business in perspective, family in perspective, and be able to juggle the two at the same time?